have some fun today. I'm gonna show you guys how to use my favorite tool in the Spartan collection. So our Spartan pedicure collection is our diamond tools and I'm really excited to show you the shield. This is one of the most popular podiatry shapes and what I really like about it is this little curvature right here. And I'm gonna show you on my model today exactly why I love that little waist. And you know, when I was trying to think of like the name of this little slope, I just call it the whoop. So if you hear me go whoop, that means I just like getting the skin right in between where I'm really able to just like softly exfoliate any rough skin. Just nicely sits. Less talking, more working. Let's go ahead and jump in while I show you guys my favorite tool in the Spartan collection. The shield! So all three of our shapes come in different abrasiveness, okay? So we have three different shapes in our Spartan collection and they have three abrasiveness. So let's check these out. We have the coarse, the extra coarse, and the extra extra coarse. And if you go ahead and zoom in, you're gonna see that there is a big difference in the little granular diamond particles. The process of how we plate these is very different. So you're gonna find that these tools don't really bed up, so it allows you for quicker cutting and also reduces heat. But because these particles are so big and there's not metal bonded onto them, they're gonna cut, they're gonna exfoliate quickly. So Choosing your grit is key and then flirting with RPM. So if a callus like this, as I'm actually like pushing into it, like, yeah, she has some hairline fissures. There's a little bit of crust just on the perimeter of the heel. This is totally normal, okay? So when I see a foot like this, being able to stick my finger right into the callus and seeing it bounce back, I'm actually probably just going to use my coarse or my extra coarse, depending on what I have clean. So for this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in with my coarse. As we begin, we're always gonna take our photo expert, shoe and foot deodorant, gonna spray the foot. It has a very like fresh smell to it. Like there is definitely an odor. You can smell the tea tree, but it's very light. And I just rub that into both of the feet. Once I've killed the pathogens on the feet, I'm gonna grab my photo expert callus softener and I'm gonna spray the foot. So about three sprays, I'm gonna rub the product in. And then what I wanna do since I'm starting with the heel for this video, is I'm gonna just put right on that heel. I want to put a little bit more on just so that it's wet. Softener wet, not water wet, all right? Keeping the foot wet with callus softener is gonna do two things I've noticed. It allows like the particles like to kind of clump up more so they're not going as airborne and it also reduces heat. So I'm working with the shield in a circular motion and I'm starting at 10,000 RPMs just to check in with my client to see what their comfort level is. I'm not just checking in on comfort of warmth, but also just how does it feel? These little granule diamond pieces are a little chunkier, so it's gonna pull the skin in a different way. Another reason to have the softener on as it just makes it for like a smoother cutting surface. So I'm gonna check in and say, how's this feel? Feels great. Fantastic. So that means I'm gonna bump up my speed a little bit. So now I'm gonna run at 17,000 RPMs. My motions are gonna be a little quicker now because the softener has absorbed more and I'm working in a controlled circular motion. And look at that, it's just exfoliating all the way off. And as you can see, these fissures, they're not really that deep. If they were a little deeper, I probably, instead of using the shield pedicure bit, I would have opted into using the spear because that point would really let, allow me to get in here. So this is what I love, especially when you have a client right in this area that has a callus, is this little waist. I literally can just set it right, that little callus rim right in it. And it's like the way it hugs it, it just exfoliates it so nicely. It's one of those things, I wish I had the words to talk about it, but when you do it, it just feels so good. I'm keeping the bit flat, circular motion, circular motion. Now. If you're not good at time management, you could be here for a long time working on the heel. So it's very important to get an idea of how you're moving the service forward, okay? Are you doing gel, gel polish? Are you doing a paraffin? Making sure you don't just spend an hour on exfoliation because this is her first pedicure of the year. Hear what I'm saying, okay? Now, if you find that you need more RPMs, if you have an e-file that has less torque, which is something that you're gonna find with a more budget e-file, increase your speed. So I have a professional e-file that gives me enough torque, so I'm happy right now at about 16, let me check, 17,000 RPMs. 
Some of you with a budget e-file might be running it all the way at 30 RPMs and like your e-file is literally stopping. All right, so you're gonna see that I am literally sitting in a different position today and I'm doing this for you. I want you to see that you can actually change your pedicure setup, that way you're not slumped over and your back is killing you. So what we have is just a basic massage table, all right, or even like a lash table with some kind of bed and I'm literally just sitting my body in between my client's legs, putting my shoulders back, back straight, holding the foot on my leg, adjusting my chair to the length of the table, and doing like the potato peeler, just like this. This allows me, instead of being hunched over, give some relief to my back as I keep it straight up. I have full visibility around the heel, and that's my primary focus today. It actually feels really good because I'm actually leaning into the table a little bit, so after working all day, it gives me like some relief, okay? Now I'll ask my model, in all fairness, we've never met, does it make you feel uncomfortable no. that I am in between your legs? No. There you have it. Sometimes we just make it more complicated. Choose the tool that's right for you and the cuticle. If you're still struggling and like, Erica, I teach. I travel the world teaching e-file classes. I love dry manicuring. So get connected, come to our website, Erica's ATA, see where I'm gonna be next. And you know what? If I'm not close to you, that's okay. I like to travel. Get a bunch of friends, let's have a good time, dry manicure and cocktails for life. In some of my other videos, you've heard me say that sometimes we have to step down in our RPMs depending on how thick this callous skin is in the center of the foot. Also, it also depends on how heavy handed you are. So many times we're working with budget e-files and we're like grinding the callus off. It should not feel like that. It literally is just like more pressure when I'm cutting a steak than when I'm doing a pedicure. It literally is just like holding a pencil and going over the skin, just like that. And if you feel like it's starting to bog down a little bit, just turn up your speed, okay? What you don't wanna do is bounce around the foot. You wanna stay in a controlled area. Okay, controlled area, looking for the skin to turn pink. On our darker colored clients, it's gonna turn more yellow. And you're gonna notice that the bit's not gunking up with dead skin cells. I totally love our new Spartan Diamond collection. And you're gonna notice not everything's going as airborne. Usually like when I'm making these videos, I'm like inhaling it and it's all over my black. But because of that callus softener, it's just literally like holding enough moisture to it, not where it's like penetrated, like if I was soaking in water, but there's enough moisture where it's more just like beading off, which is really nice, especially since I'm not wearing a mask. And I know I'm not wearing a mask, that way you can see what I'm saying. So I wanna point out this callus right here. Very common that we can see, especially due to shoes improperly fitting, like pointy shoes, is this little callus right here. This is where I love of the shield bit. It literally sits right in it and I just need to rock it a little bit to the back and then a little bit to the front and it just so nicely exfoliates and softens that callus. That's all we're doing. We're not cutting anything. We're not using water where the foot's oversaturated. Just like that. My RPMs are a little lower because I was working in the center of the foot. If it was thicker I'd increase the speed but see how it's starting to turn pink? Okay. We're looking for a color change. We're looking for a texture change. But be very careful, because right over here is live tissue and a bone. So if I start exfoliating here, it's gonna get warm. So working with our smaller tools allows us just to have more visibility and less vibration, which I really, really like. You're gonna get twice as much exfoliation. You just wanna make sure you really play with your angles, your RPMs, and your bit selection. So it just takes a little bit of time to get to know your tool and when it's best used for. Another reason I absolutely love the shield and I would say it's my favorite is because our runners, right, if they have a little bit of callus right there, it's usually just this very, very thin rim and I can put the waist right there and just gently exfoliate. Don't want to remove it all. We're just softening everything. I'm using Poto Expert's Dry to Cracked Foot Mousse, rubbing it into my client's foot making her aware, I know that you're aware of your cracks, so as we get older, the pressure, trauma with flip-flops, standing all day in your career, these are all things that are gonna break down your skin lipids, so let's make sure to be sure to moisturize as well as repair. Gonna send her home with a retail product, that way when I see her back in about three to four weeks, that these cracks 
are starting to heal, right? It's not just moisture, it's also repair. Repair and moisture, oh yeah. Fantastic. Like and subscribe. Repair.